none of us could have ever predicted this. Hi guys and welcome back to another Division video. Today we're going to be taking a look at a Tactician's Authority build. Yes, this is a six piece. Hear me out. Now, when I first started putting this build together, a lot of people kept running it with like Barrett's chest and, and so and so's gloves and whatnot and stuff, and that's great and all. And I would normally run it with, with another set. Um, probably, if anything, it would be Nomad I would run it with, uh, simply for the 15% health on kill. Um, so, let me look at the Katutus. Katutus, weapon damage is increased by 10 yeah, 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 killing a target. Um, see, I found out a, 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 a funny little thing about the division. Um, perks that just say killing a target, um, as long as it doesn't say with this weapon, stack on your abilities. Okay, so bear in mind, so destructive stacks on your abilities. Um, uh, deadly. Uh, uh, stacks on your abilities um, prepared stacks on your abilities so <laughs> you can do some funny things with your abilities um, do, do I have I've got, okay, I've got a nomad mask of firearms uh, no I don't want to use that do I, do I have a nomad chest piece I don't think I have a nomad chest piece I do um, what is the nomad chest piece did I pick it up? I think I just picked it up. Did I pick it up? Did I just pick it up? Uh, no, I didn't. So they can go in there. Oh, yes, I did. Uh, damage to elites. Armor. Okay. But it's a health. Uh, I would really like to roll that off for electronics. Maybe. Um, what about backpack? Again, health. Uh, I'm, I, the reason why I'm worried looking at Nomad stuff, guys, is because uh, I'm looking at doing a, uh, uh, a Nomad. Um, oh, wait. Uh, doing a Nomad build uh, for, a, for a different uh, tune, real quick. So. I don't have any of the Nomad gloves. Do I have a Nomad holster? I do. Which is armor. But it would give me the 15% health on kill. I'm just looking at alternate things. That reload speed doesn't mean shit. Uh, consumable duration doesn't mean shit. Uh, stability doesn't mean shit. Alpha bridge. 100% health regen. I guess that could work. Um, two piece alpha bridge on there. Um, Reclaimer gives me the fit. Uh, um, see, but Nomad is what I was looking for because I need the health on kills. Final measure is the exotic damage resilience. That would be good against grenades. Um, so we might go with that instead. But I need electronics. Uh, I don't have any. So for now, I'm just going to stick with the uh, five piece, sorry, six piece uh, tactician's authority. Now, um, first one is skill haste, next one is skill power um, bonus, and then the fourth bonus is every bullet your group hits enemies with adds 0.2 skill power to you and for you a max of 30% bonus. Bonus disappears after 10 seconds if not being updated after 10 seconds at full power. Now, again, yes, this would work well in a tremendously well in a group if you want to go a healer build. Uh, so you're dropping down a heal station and you're using various heals. Um, but we're going aggressive tactician here. So let's take a look at the abilities real quick. Of course, we've got the Tibetus Flame Tower, um, which does uh, 7,545 damage per hit, uh, which is amazing, actually. Uh, it has a 15 second cooldown uh, on it. Uh, a 15 second cooldown, sorry, 12 second cooldown. Is it 15 or 12? No, 12. A 15 second cooldown, but it lasts for 45 seconds. So you'll always have this Flame Tower. You will always have this Flame Tower. Uh, and of course, we have gone with the Seeker Drones, 
with the mod cluster. Now, you could be really painful and just go for the basic Seeker Mine that does 204,000 hit point damage uh, and has a 10 second cooldown. Uh, or you can go with the cluster that does 85 uh, procs the bleed and uh, various other things. So, let's take a look at the talents. We have gone with da, 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 Demolition Expert. Kill hostile and explosion to increase explosive damage by 20% for 15 seconds. Bear in mind, okay, bear in mind, uh, our Seeker Drone will literally keep powering itself. As long as the Seeker Drone, Seeker drone keeps killing or the Flame Turret kills, uh, uh, we that will stack. Uh, sometimes I will swap out the Flame Turret with the uh, Sticky Bomb. So there is that. Tech support, of course, kill a hostile while a skill is deployed to extend its active duration by another 10%. Basically, the flame turret just extends itself. Uh, wildfire. Apply a burn to any target to trigger a 30% chance to burn for another target within 30 meters. And of course, chain reaction. Uh, damage multiple hostiles with an explosion to apply 20% more damage to the blast. Now, we're going to take a look real quick at the mods I'm running. Uh, I am running Seeker Mine Explosives uh, and uh, Skill Power. On the uh, on the backpack on the chest, I'm running skill power and skill haste. Uh, mask, I'm running skill power. Uh, knee pads, I am running. Um, wow, uh, guess I can drop that stamina mod and get something else. Uh, I'm going with turret health uh, with that one. Uh, holster, I've gone with seeker mine damage. So as you can see, I'm mostly focusing this build around the seeker mine. Now, yes, we are extremely squishy. If we are kept, if we are caught out in the open, we will die. That is why I have gone for the the tax skill I've gone for is the recovery link because if you're if you're on your own it automatically triggers. So for example, if I hit fatal damage, it will trigger and keep me alive, and I will start re regening my health real bloody quick. Uh, downside to this is I do have a low ammo count. Uh, that's because the bag I've got doesn't have uh, ammo. So we are going to try Lexington. Okay, so. Uh, uh, Lexington. We're going to try Lexington. Um, we're going to try it on hard. Uh, I, I honestly feel that I'm not. I'm not. The reason why I haven't tried challenge yet with it with this build is because one, I just don't feel ready enough that that I can do it. Um, basically, it's just a lack in confidence on my end, uh, not in the build. Uh, more people who are used to skill-based builds will 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 be like, you could do it easy peasy. Now notice I don't have, again, I don't own a Barrett's chest piece. Um, and I haven't finished the other two incursions. All I've, all I've done so far is just the uh, the one incursion. And I did that with uh, a friend of mine. So I'll let that seeker go out. So. Boom, boom, boom. Bleed. Bleed. Okay, so we didn't do too bad there. Okay, so I'll seek a mine. Did proc. Um, again, this build it is designed to 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 go with um to go into this with a squad. This is definitely heavily squad based uh, tacticians build. Uh, I have seen some people clear this on Xbox. Again, guys, you got to understand the Xbox build of the division and the uh, PC version build of the division are, are yes, fundamentally they are the same game, but at the same time they're not. Okay. Again, I got my uh, L86 out. See what I said about how we are very squishy. Okay. 
Okay. Bit of an overkill. <laughs> you know what? <laughs> <laughs> it's just too fun. I might speed this bit up, guys. This time I didn't forget to rescue this poor guy. You're welcome. <laughs> but yeah, like I said, this is a fun build. Um, yeah. Do I think I could be able to take the game, you know, do the game on challenge? I don't know. Once I get the build perfected, again, this is just the, 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 the initial build, guys. It's nowhere near perfect. Um, in order to make this build truly perfect, perfect, I would have to get a, a Barrett's chest piece. Uh, and maybe, just maybe, um, Bliss's holster. Um, now, I, I wanted to point out to you about why the right shield is so powerful. So let me, let me show you. This is why the right shield is so powerful with the Tactician's Authority build. If you actually look at the riot shield, the base riot shield has 1.2 million hit points, 1.8 on the reactive target, 925 on the assault, and 1.2 million on the kinetic breaker. And I'm not even set up for a riot shield. This is actually a better build for a riot shield than the defense build, which makes absolutely no bloody sense. Now, as you can see, my uh, my uh, my my heal over time has propped from my gun, and so has my other perks and whatnot. So yeah, as long as the perk on the weapon says kill a target or use a skill or, or something like that. Um, you can and it will not affect uh, it, it will affect the skill little baby peeps found you darling bye okay yo what's up dude okay again we're gonna switch out to do I want to switch out to Flashbang. Actually, no, because Flashbang does bugger all the damage. I guess we could go. Shock grenade. Yeah, we'll go shock. We'll do a shock and all. Or as Misfortune says, shock and ah.
So yeah, as you can see, my uh, my weapons procs are procking the uh, uh, sustained and predatory is procking. Uh, so is destructive. It is procking, guys. So uh, you know, look at the, the the perks on your weapons, and then ask yourself, you know. Are the weapons I'm using supporting my build? I know a lot of people want to use the Tembri with the Technician, or, or the, um, not, is it a Tembri? It's, it's the other assault rifle that's all this, oh, use a skill and get this buff and that buff and this buff. Um, notice I'm not using that, simply because none of those skills actually uh, uh, suits my, uh, my play style. Okay, see, now is it procked? Right there underneath the five, you see the tiger. Procked again, you see the tiger. Now, if you had the, the DMR that does extra damage from people with status effects on, um, you would be in the money, mate, with this build. You really would. Uh, the Urban DMR. I don't actually own an Urban DMR yet. One has never dropped for me. Uh, heck, the FAMAS has only recently been dropping for me. Uh, same as the uh, M700. Um, that ne uh, hasn't dropped for me. Um, I mean, one did drop for me, uh, but it was like a green, and um, had real crappy talents. And uh, so yeah, but no D no urban DMRs have dropped for me on all three of my level thirty tunes plus. Come on, people. Open the door. Thank you. And, um, so yeah, this is the build. Now, you could go and use sticky bombs, which would increase, uh, uh, um, it would speed things up. Um, but I'm going to stick to just using the flame turret and the seeker drones. Again, like before my previous, previous builds. Yeah, yeah, shut up. Shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up. Throw that down. Gonna reload. Go to the seeker. Again, just opening up, softening them up a little bit. Uh, you could go with the talents that when you kill, you know, uh, it increases your uh, skill cooldown. Prop the backpack, he's dead. So he should.
it's not a bad little vest that you can build for a, a medic's build. So we're going to throw a lock on that one so we don't set by mistake. But yeah, there we go, guys. That's uh, Lexington on hard. Um, unfortunately, again, we didn't get um, a chess piece. But, you know, it is a rare item. And, uh, you know, not everyone can, uh, can get it. Um, and uh, just to prove my point that you don't have to be, uh, you don't have to have everything done at level 30. As you can see, I've still got some uh, side missions and whatnot to do. And uh, my base is <laughs> maxed out, as you can see. Um, so yeah, you can do it, guys. Um, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, uh, please give the video a thumbs up. If you didn't like the video, give it a thumbs down. Uh, when If you do decide to give the video a thumbs down, please leave a comment in the comment section down below as to why you didn't like the video and vice versa. If you uh, did like the video, uh, please leave a comment down below as to why you like the video. That way I can tailor make the content uh, just for you. So uh, I'm going to end this video with a salute and I will see you guys in the next video.